Uh, hello, sir. Are you Tyler uh, Vogel? Yes. All right. And that's uh, Megan on there? Yes. All right. Her audio is still trying to connect, so we'll give her a second. All right, ma'am, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. All right. Sorry. Uh, file 2022 Tyler Vogel and Megan Colvin, both are here via Zoom, and this is the date and time set for hearing on Mr. Vogel's motion regarding custody. Um, it doesn't appear there was ever a final order in this case, was there? No. Okay. Um, at this point, both raise your right hands. You both swear or affirm any testimony given this cause to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I'll be good. Yes. All right. And did the two of you come up with any kind of agreement uh, regarding custody and parenting time in this matter? No. No, we have not. All right. Uh, so why don't you explain to me what you're requesting then and why? I was uh, requesting custody and for her to have every other weekend. Okay. Why is that? Well, he's living with me and he's in school right now. He's how old is he? Seven. And uh, where does he go to school? Lowell, Bushnell Elementary. Lowell? That's not the address on either of That's not the address for either of you, is it? No, I just had moved. So you moved to Lowell? Yeah. Just in the last couple of weeks since you filed the motion? Correct. And you enrolled him in school there? Yes. Did you talk to Ms. Colvin about that? I did, I did not speak to her about it. I told him I told her that she was he was in school. Where did he go to school before? Morley Stanwood. Usually you're supposed to consult with the other parent on important decisions and education and schooling would be an important decision and not make those decisions just on your own. Yeah, well, uh, I couldn't come in contact with her at all. Why is that? She has my number blocked and me blocked on Facebook. I have no way to get a hold of her. So uh, when you filed this just back in November, you had a different address yet, didn't you? Morley. Oh, your paperwork that you filled out said you were a resident of Gratiot County. Morley's in Macosta, isn't it, or Montcalm? No, that was, that was for parenting time. That was when you filed the case in November, on November 7th, 2022. When you filled out the paperwork, you wrote Gratiot County was your county of residence. For for parenting time, I just had filed this this custody motion a couple weeks ago. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you filed the lawsuit, when you filed the when you came to court and filed the, the paperwork to start the whole thing, you wrote Gratiot County. Ithaca, Michigan, 54 Meadow Lane, Ithaca, Michigan. Correct. November of last year, right? Yes. Yeah. So you moved from there to Morley and now from Morley to Lowell? Yep. All within like two months? Yes, sir. Oh, why is that? Why, why are so many moves? Because it wasn't working out where I was living at my dad's house. Was that in Gratiot or was that in Morley? Morley. Oh. All right. And when you filled that paperwork out, you wrote that Bentley lived in White Cloud. Yeah, he was living with his mom at my house. It was on Lilac? Yep. And now, ma'am, you've moved as well. You moved to Big Rapids? 
Yes, I live at my mother's house right now. So neither of you live in Nuego County anymore. No. no. And uh, so you said Bentley is seven. Up until November, uh, who did he live with? He was living with his mom because I was in jail. Oh, how long were you in jail for? Seven and a half months. But, I mean, if he's seven years old, uh, who do you live with him for the majority of his life? Who did he he lived with, with both of us, yeah. Okay, so you raised him together for six years or almost, or seven years, but then, yeah. you, then you separated. Did you separate then when Mr. Volga went to jail? Um, we separated about two years ago. Oh, two years ago. All right, what have you guys been doing for the last two years as far as custody and visitation go? I had him for pretty much the entire time since we've been broken up. And then when he got out of jail, I was still keeping him from him because I was not hearing good things. And then I finally decided to let him go live with his dad because that's what he really wanted. And now we're going through this. All right, so you voluntarily turned him over to Mr. Vogel for uh, for for him to live there? Yes, I did. Okay. So he's asking now for a custody order. And uh, based on the fact that he's had the child, I, I guess, for the last three or four months, depending on who you believe, but do um, you agree with, with an order of custody uh, for Mr. Vogel? No, I don't. I would like 50-50 custody just because I let him go live with him. Yes, that is because he idles his dad and his dad has been gone for a minute. Yes, I did let him do that. But I deserve more time with my child too. You know, I've had him and been there just as much as he, he has, if not more. And now my child, when I'm talking to him now, he's even acting different and like, like almost like he's nervous around me. So I don't know what's going on. All right. So how, how do we accommodate 50-50 if you live in Big Rapids and Mr. Uh, Vogel lives in Lowell? That's like a I'm good, hour. Sure. A good hour apart right there, maybe more. Yes, it is. And I have to keep in mind how this child's going to get back and forth to school every day. You know, if it was just the two of you and and uh, and school wasn't involved, or if he wasn't school age yet, then you know it might be a different ball game. But if he's in school, uh, he's got to be there every day. He's got to be on time. He's got to be ready to go. Yes. Um, I would like him to go back to attending to Morley because that is where he's spent most of his school years since he started school. So. The fact that Tyler just moved him an hour away, if not more, you know, I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it until something is done in the court. Yeah, but neither of you live there. That wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, would it? Um, I, I'm willing to do what I got to do to make sure he's getting to school and stuff. I, I do not want to go every other weekend without seeing him. I haven't seen him since December 2nd, which is when I let him go live with Tyler. He just let me see him for the first time last weekend so he could serve me these custody papers. So, uh, sir, how long are you gonna live in Lowell now? No, I'm not planning on moving anytime soon. What do you think about leaving the child in Morley Stanwood schools instead of Lowell? 
Uh, I don't know how that worked. I would have to. Be I mean, surprised. when when he was when he was with his mom, his mom was keeping him from me, and and he wasn't going to school. He didn't have medical insurance. He didn't have glasses. His tooth was hurting. I had to get all that set up. She wouldn't give me his birth certificate to get him enrolled in school. Uh, Ma'am, how long do you plan to live in Big Rapids? Um, I'm actually planning on relocating right now. Um, just because I want out of Big Rapids, I did want to stay in that Morley area. I mean, for my kid, but the fact that he's over an hour away right now and already switched schools, I just want to get all this court stuff figured out so I can go from there. You know, whether I, I move down here or... You know, he's going to be up there. I, you know. Okay. So your, your living situation is temporary right now. Is that what you're saying? Yes. I'm living with my mother right now. I'm searching for my own place right now. Do you have a job? Yes, I do. Oh, where do you work? I work at Hayworth in Big Rapids. How long have you been there? About a month. So you said you're planning to move. Are you planning to change jobs too or keep that job but move somewhere else out of the house with your mom? Um, I was planning on keeping that job as long as I, you know, wherever I'm moving to. I'm just in the process of filling out applications and stuff for places. So it really comes down to where I get approved at, but I'm planning on keeping that job. All right, and then, sir, did you buy a house in uh, Lowell, or, or are you renting, or staying with friends, or what's the... Yeah, I'm staying with my girlfriend. Oh. So, it's her place? Is it your legal residence at this point? Is that where you get mail, and did you get your license changed and all that? I did not get my license changed yet, but yes, it's my legal address. So does she rent or does she own the place or what? She owns it. A house or uh, what is it? A trailer. You haven't changed your address with the friend of the court yet. Oh, neither of you have, really. But anything I mail out is going to go to Morley and White Cloud. It's not going to go to Lowell and Big Rapids. You're muted, ma'am. What's that? I'm sorry. Yeah, what did you want to say? I said that the 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 paperwork, my um response to the motion that I turned in has my current address on there. So, uh, ma'am, are you able to get the child to and from Lowell schools at this point? Every other, I mean, every yes, other week I have a vehicle. Like I can do that. It's, I mean, it's going to be tough, but I'm willing to do that if that's what I have to do. Well, I mean, I want to see this, uh, this poor kid get, you know, yanked out of another school, especially. No, I don't either. There isn't a, 
you know we're well over halfway through the school year now especially it just sucks well. because he was just in morley about two weeks ago which is where he's been most of his school year since he started and then tyler just moved him to lowell like within the last week so i didn't really have no say or anything it just up and happened like that and he hasn't been letting me see him until this custody stuff so I really didn't know what to do. So what grade is he in? He's in first grade. So he did kindergarten at Morley Stanwood? He did two, He did a year of Head Start, and then he did a two-year um, kindergarten program. All at Morley Stanwood? Yes. Uh, sir, how many days has he actually gone to school at Lowell? Uh, I think he started last thursday so what thursday and friday or wednesday so what four days yes All right. Well, you shouldn't have moved him. That's something the two of you have to decide together. Like I said, I couldn't, there was no way of me getting a hold of her. She has my number blocked, my Facebook blocked. I don't know where she's living. There's no way I, I can possibly get a hold of her when, <laughs> when she uh, has everything blocked. Ma'am, did he have any way to get a hold of you? Um, he made a uh, Facebook under our child's name, which is what we've been communicating over the past couple of weeks. I do have him blocked on Facebook and I do have him blocked on phone numbers because that is from our past experience. I don't want, honestly, I want as little contact with him as possible. Well, can you see how that would make it difficult to get a hold of you if you wanted to talk about changing the schooling? Um, yes, but I have, I reach out to him through my parents and he's starting to block all of them now too. So it's, you know, I have been trying. Sir, when did you actually move to Lowell? Um... It's been about two weeks now. So did the child miss most of those two weeks of school then, or did you still take him up to Morley Stanwood? No, I just transferred him down here, but they uh, they had to wait to get him enrolled. Due to paperwork and stuff like that, I had to get, a, get together and to see if um, they would accept him in there. So he didn't go to school for the better part of those two weeks? He didn't go to school for about like a week and a half. But when he was living with his mom, he was never going to school. Right. And before, before I moved here to law, he was going to school every single day at Morley. All right, um, I need you to provide uh, more information regarding his attendance and his performance at school and all that. And then I'll set this for a trial on the issue of custody on April 14th at 9 a.m. I'll set aside uh, a couple hours so you can both present anything and every, everything you think is relevant to the determination of custody and parenting time. I'm not gonna make you take him out of Lowell schools at this time, but uh, the schooling will be part of that determination on that day. I likely wouldn't make any school decision uh, effective until the beginning of the next school year because I don't want to see him yanked around again. But um, April 14th, 9 a.m., uh, we'll have a trial on the issue of custody and parenting time. Um, I have a 
the form with the child custody factors on it acts kind of like a brief. I need you to both fill that out and return it to me a week before trial with a copy to the other party. It'll help you uh, kind of hone in your uh, your your um, your evidence and what I need to hear. It has all those 12 child custody factors on it. And uh, I need you to fill that out and submit that prior to the next hearing a week before. All right. All right. And so now both of us are going to have to uh, provide proof of the schooling. Well, if that's partially what your uh, motion is based on, that she didn't take the child to school, then his attendance would certainly be an issue. Yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, like I said, I'll set aside a couple hours that day. I'll listen to everything you both have to say regarding custody, make a determination at that time. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're all set for today. Thank you.